Breeder red flags. What to look out for when buying a puppy. People miss these red flags all too often. Watching this video will help you identify the signs of scammers and unethical breeders to help you make the right choice when choosing a puppy. Breeder red flags come in the form of puppy scammers, puppy mills, and backyard breeders. So what's a puppy mill? Puppy mills are large-scale commercial dog breeding facilities that operate solely for the profit, without concern or care for the welfare of the dogs and puppies at the facility. Sadly, puppy mills are very common throughout the world, and there is a high chance you could end up unknowingly with a puppy from these businesses. Puppy mills are completely unethical and often leave their dogs and puppies malnourished and living in dirty, diseased kennels. Many pet shops still sell puppies who are bred in these facilities, and it's not uncommon to receive false or misleading documents that conceal the real location of a puppy's birth. Backyard breeders are breeders you want to avoid as well. They may not be the size of a puppy mill, but they are just as in it for the profits. Often, these breeders are people who seem well-intentioned or just your friendly neighbor down the road type, but they are often completely unknowledgeable on how to breed safely and ethically. These dogs are often not properly health screened and tested before producing litters, giving way to passing on genetic defects and diseases to their litters. More than that, safe and effective socialization is imperative to raising a healthy pup. But sadly, backyard breeders can either socialize their pups poorly, not at all, or ineffectively causing lifelong anxiety and other behavioral issues. Proper breeding is a hell of a lot more than just getting a dog pregnant. Puppy scammers are everywhere. These individuals often do not have a puppy, have stolen a puppy, or have purchased a puppy and are reselling at a much higher price. The only way to avoid these scammers is to know what red flags to look for and where you should be looking for a puppy in the first place. So what are some common red flags to look out for? Random online puppy posts. Gumtree, Trading Post, Craigslist, and Facebook Marketplace are examples of unsafe locations to purchase a puppy. They are full of scammers and puppy mills. Instead, go to a local Facebook group based on the breed of the puppy that you want and post a question asking what ethical breeders others can recommend you reach out to. There are also websites dedicated to listing only ethical and registered breeders which you can adopt a puppy through. Remember, Anyone can create a nice looking website. It's better if you have multiple testimonials that the breeder is ethical and who they say they are. Lack of registration. An ethical breeder will be registered and happy to give you their registration number. Be mindful that not all registrations are equal. Some have strict regulations the breeders must adhere to, like the Australian National Kennel Council, ANC, while for others, it's no more than jumping online and filling out a form. Do your research on what kind of registration your breeder has to ensure that they are held to a good standard. Poor early socialization. Good breeders socialize their puppies before they're adopted and sent to their homes. This is a critical factor in developing confident and happy puppies. Puppy Culture and ENS are great programs and if your breeder follows that or something like it, it's a really good sign. They should at the very least have a deep knowledge on the different developmental stages of puppies and what they should be doing almost day by day to raise them properly. If you're speaking with a breeder that can't discuss in depth what they do to socialize puppies, then it's a big red flag. Six week old puppy advert. If a breeder is selling their puppies before eight weeks of age, it's a huge red flag. At that age, pups are not fully weaned from their mother and won't have strong enough immune systems. Transporting puppies a long distance too young is also incredibly unsafe as they are just not strong enough for the trip. They should be with their parents until at least eight weeks and good breeders may even keep a puppy for an extra week or two if they feel the pup needs their parents a little longer. Only photos and videos. If you're speaking with a breeder who only sends you photos and pre-recorded videos without offering or giving you the option to see the puppies in person, or at the very least FaceTime you live to see your puppy, it's a huge red flag. Anyone can send you random photos and videos. You need to be able to see your puppy in real time. Ideally, you should also be able to see the parents and the rest of the litter to ensure they all look healthy and well looked after. Delivery only. If you're only given the option for delivery, be very careful. 
Some breeders may have their reasons for why you can't go to them to pick up your puppy, but if that's the case, then you need to be sure you know other people who have successfully purchased a healthy pup from them. It's good practice if a breeder insists on meeting you. It means they care where their puppy is going. Often scammers catch people by saying delivery only and then sadly the puppy never arrives. Parents DNA tested and nothing more. Be aware that parents DNA tested doesn't mean all that much. Breeders should know what to do with that information and based on the results, only breed from healthy parent lines. Many dog breeds have their own common health issues, so breeders should know what to look for to ensure they're not passing those common health concerns to future litters. It's a great idea to have a chat to your vet to know more about what you should be looking for and what the breeder should be able to tell you. Limited information. When you're looking for a puppy, ethical and experienced breeders will have a wealth of information for you. They should be able to answer any and all questions you have about the litter, the parents and their health background. Breeders should be able to tell you when the pups are microchipped, wormed and vaccinated. If they don't have this basic information readily available for you, run away. Choosing a puppy is an exciting and overwhelming experience, but be careful not to get too attached to a pup before you ask the important questions. Mm-hmm.